How you doing out there? This is John Wayne McCure, the Sonneteer from beautiful Chandler, Arizona. In this sonnet, <laughs> 1,346. And I wrote this sonnet especially... I wrote it last night. Why? Because there's this, this school board member in San Francisco. She's not. She's on a hot mic and she doesn't know it. And she's saying, ah, oh, that... That teacher, that parent, the, the parents, she's talking about the parents. The parents, ah, she called one of them a bitch. And she said, I'm going to duck her up. They're talking about parents. The school board members normally don't give a damn about you. They just like the, to, to strut around. I'm on the school board. Half of them don't know anything about what's going on in the schools. And that's how they talk about you behind your back. That's really good. A hot mic, and they, they do that. And they say, oh, 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 it's on a hot mic. Yeah, it is. And that's why I wrote this. Brainwashed American parents. You think they're going to help your kids? They're teaching them communism now. They're teaching them all kinds of crazy stuff from Black Lives Matter, those black racists. The greatest honor you will ever have in your life is to have kids. They're the best of your flesh. They're your beautiful surname on loan. Your name will survive and live on long after you are gone. The honor of the family name. Nothing to hide with shame. Just to watch your kids grow and blossom. What a privilege. You're trusting in state certified teachers to do your kids justice. And they're not doing your kids justice. They don't even want to teach. If they don't go teach, if they don't show up for work, tenure or not, you're fired. What's wrong with you? There's people out there running dental offices and medical offices and loading freight and grocery stores. And they're not running away from their jobs. These certified teachers, you send them to school, your kids. And trust that they will be taught wisdom. That's not what they're being taught. You want them taught true respect for law and order. Taught about free speech. Taught about freedom. Freedom to think for themselves. That's what you want for your kids. You want them to be taught both sides of all things that count. The things that matter. The gloomy Soviets. They've invaded our schools. And universities. Some of the biggest communists in the planet are in our universities. Look at the Nazi anti Antifa. Antifa, what a bunch of thugs. They're openly accepted. They think it's all right. Demons of doom. Evil atrocities. Nazi Antifa. See, Black Lives Matter racists. They expect absolute power. They don't care about anybody else's life. What about the majority of abortions are black kids? They don't say a damn thing about that. A curriculum. You see, they're not going to like that curriculum in your school, which would shock and dismay every single parent. Soviets dancing in the streets with commie Bernie Sanders. Democrat propaganda is the only disinformation allowed. Uh-uh, just Democrats. You're not allowed to listen to anything else. Soviet rats have sent a fearful stench unto high heaven. Parents, complacent with corrupt Marxist school boards. The 1619 bogus project crammed right down parental throats. You don't have a voice in that. They just did it. They just did it. Whether you want it or not, teach them to hate this country. What they say is get kids when they're young. As adults, as Soviets, they will perform. Set kids up for failure. They can work for Soviet bosses. Bow down. God is now dead. Big Brother Alinsky Democrats, they're God. Bow down or the Soviets will crush you. No job for you. Don't question. Follow orders or lynch mobs will get you. Where there is no God, there is no God with Solinsky Democrats tyrannizing you. Democrats, they have driven 75 million Republicans underground. They've erased us. Are you going to stand for it? 
All of you out there, Democrats taking away our guns. They want to take away our guns. What are you going to do without a gun when the government comes to get you? That's why that Second Amendment is so precious. It's against the government that they can't come into your home and take everything you own and order you around and turn you into a slave. Well, I guess we're already slaves because Democrats are taking away our guns. Illegal infringements. The Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Period. Does that not resonate with patriots? Don't you understand? Everything depends on us keeping our guns. Democrats, they control our schools. Teaching kids to hate God. The Soviets will make you disappear. We'll shut you up for good. Patriots, they cannot have their kids turned into evil Soviets. You can't let that happen. The American public is drunk on TV, on videos, on internet. Foolishness, wasting time. When we're being, the country's being invaded, can America survive this Soviet invasion? Or is this death of our republic? All of you out there, I'm, I'm just trying. Look, I'm trying. You got to try. Don't you see what's happening? You Republicans, you got to stand up. You can't just be underground. You got to make your voice heard. There's 330 million people in this country, and they all got an opinion. Good. That's our republic. But we got to pick wisely and righteously. And I'm asking you for your help. Come on, man. You parents out there, you don't even know what's going on in your schools. You wouldn't have it. You wouldn't let them brainwash your kids to teach them to hate you, to hate the family, to hate your country. Tear down all our monuments so there's no history. It's just Democrat one-party rule. That's what is coming. God help us. I pray every day for that. Thank you for listening. God bless us, everyone. Let them make you with them. Au revoir, mes amis.